Naruto and Nagatoro are walking home one day when Nagatoro starts to tease him that she will send him hot snaps. At first he thinks she will be sending spicy texts, but she mocks his wrong assumption and reveals she was talking about spicy hot chicken. Later at school, Nagatoro and her friends watch as Naoto struggles in gym class. As all his classmates pass him, Nagatoro becomes disappointed. After school, Nagatoro approaches Naoto and makes fun of him for running slow. She wonders why he is so slow, and Naoto tells her that his strength is in drawing, and not physical activity. She demands he practice running but when Naoto tries to come up with excuses, Nagatoro declares she will put him on a fierce training regime the next day. True to her words, she shows up at the park the next day in her gym attire which embarrasses Naoto. Nagatoro mocks Naoto for his reaction, and she takes him jogging to train his stamina. The unfit Naoto can barely keep up with Nagatoro, but gains motivation by watching her run. He later tries to run ahead of her so he won't be so embarrassed, but quickly falls behind. When they take a much needed break, Naoto declares that he wants to give up, and Nagatoro calls him a wimp, making fun of his lack of willpower. Nagatoro tries to mock Naoto into getting back into running, which works as Naoto starts to angrily run. Nagatoro then makes fun of Naoto to keep him running, until he later passes out at the park. Nagatoro then decides they need to stretch to cool down, and she guides him into a stretching routine. However, Naoto is very inflexible so he needs Nagatoro to help him do basic stretches. Nagatoro has fun stretching Naoto at the park, but suddenly Yoshi arrives with her dog, embarrassing them both. The next day at the art room, Naoto is thinking about his next portrait. Nagatoro arrives asking if she needs him to model again, and quickly volunteers herself. Naoto explains he needs a portrait for the upcoming school festival, and Nagatoro is shocked when Naoto declines her offer to model for him. Naoto tells her that he needs a guy to model, and Nagatoro teases him with the drawings he made previously. After some teasing, Naoto agrees under the condition that Nagatoro dresses up like the game character Nagatoro. Naoto is certain that Nagatoro will refuse the cosplay, but the tables are turned on Naoto when the next day Nagatoro shows up in the cosplay. Nagatoro is very embarrassed and takes out her embarrassment on Naoto by insulting him. Naoto attempts to compliment her, but Nagatoro punishes him. Later, Nagatoro's friends arrive at the club room to watch Nagatoro model. They all talk about the various activities their classes will hold during the festival, including a yakisoba stand, a haunted house, and a gaming club formed by Sakura. Naoto remembers that last year the art club put on a successful art exhibition, and that the club president handed the club over to Naoto so that the other members could focus on studying for art school. Naoto decides to host another art exhibit for the festival, but the girls make fun of his boring choice. They decide to help him make the activity more interesting, and suggest hosting a cat cafe, or a butler cafe. Meanwhile, Naoto becomes worried when he hears the art club president returning to the club room. He insists that Nagatoro and her friends hide in the next door room when the art club president Sana arrives. Nagatoro and her friends listen in on a nervous Naoto and Sana, and they wonder what his relationship with Sana is. Sana demands to know what the art club will be doing for the festival, and that she has heard rumors of unsavory characters in the art club. She sees the snacks in the art club and announces that the club is not a place for fun. Sana declares that if Naoto doesn't take his responsibilities, at the art club seriously, she will ask the student council president to shut down the art club permanently. Before Sana can leave, Nagatoro and her friends reveal themselves. Nagatoro confronts Sana and declares that Naoto takes his art seriously, remembering the focus he always had on his skills when they were having fun. Sana declares that if Naoto can hold a more successful art exhibition than she can, she will allow the club to survive. A worried Naoto is comforted by Nagatoro who promises to help. The next day, although she promised to help, Nagatoro and her friends can't help but make fun of Sana for how seriously she is taking the challenge. Nagatoro then becomes unhappy when Naoto defends Sana in front of them. Nagatoro tries to cheer up by saying that they will win easily, but Naoto is convinced that they will lose to Sana, although Nagatoro is hopeful for their cat cafe plan. Naoto explains that Sana is a perfectionist who always wins any competition she enters, and her exhibit last year was popular because she modeled for herself. Nagatoro starts to punish Naoto for showing her Sana's art and is suspicious of his appreciation for his club president. Nagatoro and her friends try to encourage Naoto to draw a better portrait than Sana's, but they are skeptical that Nagatoro would be a good model. Naoto defends Nagatoro's ability as a model. This cheers up Nagatoro who is excited to take on the challenge. She suggests they use cosplay to differentiate themselves, but Naoto still sees the club president as an impossible opponent. When they walk home, Nagatoro tries to tease Naoto to cheer him up, but he is still worried about the upcoming competition. Nagatoro promises to do everything she can to help and the next day she tries on different outfits for modeling. But Naoto tells Nagatoro and her friends that it might be better that Nagatoro model as her natural self. He also apologizes for getting Nagatoro involved in his club troubles, as it could result in some embarrassment for Nagatoro. 
an angry Nagatoro then leaves the club room. The next day Nayoto arrives to see that Sauna has separated the club room so that she and Nayoto can work separately. She later inspects his work critically and finds it boring and not suited for the festival audience. She calls Nayoto fruit piece passionless when Nagatoro arrives before running off after seeing her and Sauna. Sauna demands that Nayoto chase after Nagatoro and gather his courage to chase after the first year. Nagatoro continues to run away, and Nayoto thinks about all the memorable times he had with Nagatoro this year. She continues to run further away, and an exhausted Nayoto uses his happy memories with Nagatoro to keep him going. After he catches up to her, Nayoto begs Nagatoro to model for him. Nagatoro refuses at first, but when she almost falls into the school pool Nayoto is able to catch her. They end up both falling into the pool after he asks her one more time, which cheers up Nagatoro. To prepare for the festival Nayoto comes up with several versions of Nagatoro portraits, all portraying the Nagatoro in daily life. Although she is happy with the paintings, her friends wonder if these will be enough to win the competition. And although Nayoto is also worried, Nagatoro assures him that they will win. Though when Nagatoro and her friends spy on the sauna's work, Nagatoro becomes shocked because of how strong the president's portrait is. Nayoto suggests a group portrait between him and Nagatoro, to her excitement, and her friends announce an underhanded plan against the club president. The day of the festival arrives and the art club put together the exhibition. Sana also tells him she won't let him back down from the challenge. She also shows Nayoto a charm that has become popular throughout school, and Nayoto wonders what Nagatoro and her friends are planning. Other students come by to ask about their art exhibits, and Nayoto struggles to communicate effectively. Suddenly, three Tora cats, Yoshi, Sakura, and Nagatoro in disguise arrive to do a dance. Nagatoro is clearly unhappy. Their outfits and dance attract the attention of the school, and they use this opportunity to show off Nayoto's art exhibition. However, even with Nagatoro and her friends driving traffic to the art club by using Nagatoro's talent to tease others, the president still has more traffic. Nayoto becomes irritated when he sees Nagatoro interact with other guys, and Nagatoro also becomes irritated when some girls approach Nayoto. Maki tells Nagatoro to take a break, but they discover Sakura had conscripted a nerd to take her place so she can have lunch early. Meanwhile Nagatoro and Nayoto walk together and Nagatoro feels conflicted with all the compliments Nayoto gives her for helping him model and make the art exhibit a success. After they happily eat lunch together, they hear a commotion from the president's art exhibit. They find that the student guidance committee is shutting down the president's exhibit because her art is too suggestive. As they overhear the proceedings, Nayoto and his friends step in to defend the president. Yoshi also shows video footage of visitors appreciating the president's piece as art. Sana later thanks them and though she is irritated for being disqualified by their competition, she agrees to keep the art club alive. When she tries to leave, Nagatoro and her friends demand that Sana be punished for troubling them and they use her to help sell cat toy merchandise during the festival. At the end of the festival, Maki announces they have made tons of money, but Nagatoro heads back to the art club instead to find Sana and Nayoto. After analyzing his art, Sana compliments Nayoto's skill but appreciates the love that seems evident in the work, embarrassing Nagatoro and Nayoto. Nagatoro's friends arrive and they decide to go together to the closing festivities. The next day, Nagatoro is asleep again when Nayoto draws her. And after he shows her his newest work, she asks him to close his eyes and gives him an earnest kiss on the cheek before she runs off. And this is all for this video, make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.